Hey, Adam. What's up? Have you ever seen an encyclopedia? Yes. Britannica. Yeah. Did your uh, parents get you one at the grocery store? No. Oh, that's where they used to sell them. <laughs> it was. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. I'm Adam Manis. And I'm Peter Martin. Uh, and you're listening to the You'll Hear Podcast. Daily jazz advice in under 15 minutes coming at you. We got to do this. Today's why, episode why, is... Oh, why are we under 15 minutes? Well, because we're almost out of time on our cards here for the memory cards. <laughs> okay. A little behind the scenes. And we've just wasted about 30 <laughs> seconds talking about it. Today's episode is brought... brought blah, 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 blah. Oh, another 10 uh, seconds. Another 10 seconds. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by the Oxford American. Go to oxfordamerican.org slash YHI for an amazing deal. $25.00. For a yearly subscription, what are you doing with your That's hands? That's it. We can't we can't give the full plug today. We don't have time for All it. All right, let's do this. What are we getting into today? <laughs> today we're I don't know. You've got the question. I think it's about resources. That's why I was talking about the encyclopedia. Yeah, we got a question from uh, Facebook, and this is uh, from uh, Mark, one of our uh, listeners, Mark, and he asked about jazz resources. Yeah. How about a podcast on favorite blogs, websites, etc., for keeping up with jazz news, records, resources? Uh, great question, Mark. Yes. Uh, so we have a list here, and the is first it seven by any chance. It's, it, you know what? We actually didn't even count. <laughs> what? I know, man. We are off our game today. Let's get back on it. Okay, so I think one of the one of the better resources. It's a magazine, but it's a good website too. Is is Jazz Times? It's been around for a while. Yeah, it, they always seem to be keeping up with not just um, you know some some of the older recordings and reissues and stuff like that, but. You know the festival circuit and and newer artists. Yeah, and I dig jazz times. I like jazz times. Yeah, and you know what? I like. I kind of been coming back around on downbeat lately. I just I I hadn't seen it in a while. They just had their big festival. Oh, you're sighing. Yeah, it's you're, all right. You're breathing in. I like man. I like downbeat. It's okay. fine. I but they, their festival issue is kind of nice. Yeah. Do you I remember like jazz, jazz is? Is that still around? Jazz is was trending smooth, wasn't it? Was it trending smooth? It was trending for smooth. for a while. It was yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, but check out Jazz Times. It's jazztimes.com. Yep. That's kind of where I go for some reviews and some pretty good articles, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't, that's number one, though. Okay. All right. It's all good. Can I be honest about this, though? <laughs> yes, please. There's actually kind of a lack of, of really amazing coverage in jazz. Like, there's a few people who are doing awesome things. Yeah. But and you it, know what it is? I think that, that there's the, in, it's just the journalism infrastructure in general. Like, we don't have. It's not enough money? Well, yeah, there's not enough money, but it's more like the 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 reviewers, you know, that infrastructure, which f- traditionally is what kind of was the structure of like downbeat and jazz is and yeah, stuff yeah. like those the local reviewers, but but the ones in New York and L.A. and Chicago um, would would provide articles and kind of like this concert happened or this thing at the club or whatever. And a lot of newspapers and stuff don't have review like we don't have a jazz reviewer. We have some music reviewers still in St. Louis, like with the newspaper, but they yeah. cover like every, it's, it's paired all the way down. Remember they used to be yeah, someone that several. just did jazz. Yeah. 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 And same with classical and whatever. And so, I mean, where I, I guess we can't complain because a few journalists that are there, you know, you want them looking after the big picture, big ticket items, murder, mayhem and all that kind of thing. <laughs> it's just, it's just a shame that it's not as, as, um, deeply covered, I think as it should be, but from, from multiple angles yeah yeah but this takes us to our number two which is which is do the math which is the blog so, of ethan iverson so i right. think that what we do a little bit of the holes being filled by some thoughtful musicians uh typified i think most brilliantly currently um uh by ethan iverson Great ethan iverson out is out of wisconsin he's kind of becoming one of my favorite jazz writers which is annoying because he's one of my favorite <laughs> jazz pianists as well right, you know right, what i mean right, so like right. he's a great writer and and his point of view on these things while i don't always agree with is is always thought provoking is always very interesting and is always a joy to read uh go to, to it used to be do do the math dot org but now it's all just on I ethan don't think iverson it was, do the math. it was always do the math my friend <laughs> i don't know what you're thinking about well now it's just ethan iverson.com and you can see all of his essays right. uh the interviews man i've been digging deep on oh, the, the interviews keith, are you, are you got the keith jared oh interview? the keith jared interview is so good first of all it's like the best ever because it's the only one ever it was the only Keith one in a long time. No, but it's like uh, you finally, uh, it's an interview where with Keith where I think Ethan really holds his own intellectually with Keith about 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 Keith, which exactly. I think has never happened, even with good interviews. Like uh, Keith has done a couple, I think, with like Terry Gross, yeah. who's 
obviously one of the better interviewers in the yeah. world, but I don't think she has the jazz knowledge to really right. take him to some of these places that Ethan took him to. So yeah. uh, also the one with Jason Moran was very insightful for very me. Good, yeah. Pianist I've been following, fa- following, <laughs> I've been <laughs> following for you know my whole adult life and and learned some new things in that interview. So check out do the, uh, ethaniverson.com. Do the math is the name of the blog. But And then, um, of course, there was the, what I thought was a very good interview as well. I was actually at part of the interview, but it became very controversial with Robert Glasper. Oh, that was, yeah, If you yeah. want a little bit of controversy. Did you, you poked your head in, right? I, I had, I came in the room because I left my jacket there oh, <laughs> in that particular room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know until later what how it was going on. Um, so cool. All right, so number three we have, I think we do have seven, by the way. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so number three, we have jazz.org. Ever heard of it? Uh, yeah, I see you skipped over one, though. That's okay. We'll come back to it. Uh, jazz or, jazz, jazz.org. Yes, this is the arm of uh, the law, also known as Jazz and Lincoln Center. <laughs> the Jazz Police. <laughs> yeah. The Jazz Police. It's so funny to me that they actually bought jazz.org. Yeah. Um, but actually, I think this, this is a really good resource, obviously, for what's happening in New York at their venues. Yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. It's a very well-done uh, website. And I think... One of the best things about it, they got some really good recorded videos, some instructional things, but they're live streaming mm. through jazz.org, uh, which is the Jazz Lincoln Center. Um, venues, yep. uh, Dizzy's Club, the uh, Allen Room, Appel Room, yep. um, the Rose Room. They do incredible streaming of great shows almost every night, several times a week usually. It's awesome. It's really good. Yeah, also shout out to Smalls for doing the same Smalls thing. Smalls does it as well. Absolutely. That's a much smaller organization, but they stream at Smalls and at Mesro, Mesro. every night. Every night. It's and it's awesome. like... It looks like security camera, uh, but it's like really good quality music and sound and stuff. It's good. So number four, I'm going to give a shout out here. This is a book that I've been reading for like three months because it takes so long to get through. Uh, playing changes uh, yes. from Nate Shinen. Uh I think it's Shenin or Chinen or Shinen. I don't uh, know. Anyway, but playing changes is the name. Of, it's a book, and it's unbelievably brilliant it's yeah. jazz for the new century it's all about basically the the brief history of jazz in the 21st century yes kind of starts out actually with winton and lincoln center with the young lions and kind of and, yeah, yeah launches yeah. out of there uh but the reason why it's taken me so long to get through is because i'm constantly stopping to listen to music mm. there's so much you know holes to fill in my even though i'm of the perfect age for this because i grew up during these eras yeah. you know as you grow up, you develop your your favorites, and I definitely had huge holes in people that I I, I know about, and I've heard, and I've even seen live, but maybe I I haven't I've slept on a, a record or I've slept on an artist that I should you know or that I, now I'm like oh man this is killing so I slept on a record last night my oh, geez, neck is killing go. me here we go uh, anyway check out uh, but w- so it's not a the book is not a, a blog but there isn't a, a killing uh, accompanying website. Uh, that has like a oh, list of essential yeah. albums and, and a bunch of cool stuff. I love that book. when books do that now when they've got the either app or website kind of, uh, it, it's sort of to promote the book, but it, but it's nice when they do have the kind of out value added stuff like that. So check out playingchangesbook.com. Nice. Yeah. All right. So number five, we've got a YouTuber. Yes. Jazz has our own YouTuber. Yay. I'm so excited. Oh, th- no, this guy's good, though. <laughs> Adam Neely. Is he? Yeah, he is good. He's he is in a, good. He puts together great videos. It's just that some of his things, like what was the how developing a groove by standing on one leg? I mean, he takes cl- – I mean, we get into some clickbait. I'm not going to lie. But we try to make ours useful clickbait. He gets into just straight. He played the lick – for seven hours straight or something. I respect that, though. I don't. I mean, <laughs> the fortitude to do it. First of all, do you know what you're training yourself to play? Oh, man. Come on, man. But uh, um, I like Adam no, he's Neely. a funny guy, and he's a really good filmmaker. Um, and we're not jealous at all that he has 10x the number of um, uh, subscribers. Uh, I, see <laughs> I see what's happening now. I see what's happening now. Jealousy does not wear nicely on me, Peter. No, Adam. but you know what? The videos are quality. Uh, I, I usually completely agree with what you know musically what he has to say. Uh, check it out. I don't know though. Well, yeah, his. I think I saw him. Maybe it wasn't him though. Remember um, when he. He was like a couple people were they were analyzing um was it giant steps and somebody was throwing shade on the piano solos by Tommy oh, Flanagan. That's a whole thing now, right? That's there's whole there's whole meme pages based around Tommy Flanagan's on, solo on giant on. steps. It's true. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> oh I got I got a plug. But that's the thing, is the more you say it's not cool, the more memes they make. This is how, <laughs> okay, this let me how shut up. certain let me people shut up. get elected, man. That's right. <laughs> uh he has a TEDx too, did you know that? Adam Neely. 
Who's it? TEDx? Yeah. He, oh, he did has a TEDx. A, he did a TEDx. Oh, how does he have a TEDx? And I don't. Oh, actually, I did do a TEDx, right. but Buddy, it's not on video. Curb, okay. <laughs> cur- curb the dude, man. Give, sorry. Give the guy his props. He did a video on negative harmony. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not bitter. Okay. Um, let's move on. Please. Number six. <laughs> Oh, come on. We only got like two minutes left. <laughs> you'll hear it.com. Oh, you'll hear it.com. You what said is that. Oh, that's our own blog. Not our little blog. So we're proud of our little blog. We, because we humbly accept that it's it's a good resource. For we people. spun it off. It, it started. It's it's humble beginnings. We're at openstudionetwork.com mm. where it was the house blog. But yeah, we spun it off with just the greats. Um, uh, not episodes. What would you call those? Blog posts. Yeah. And then added all of them in anyway, just for fun. <laughs> and uh, no, but we've got some. You've got some great uh, blog posts over there. No, you've got some. No, great no, blog no. Posts. You, yes, no. You're right. No, no, no. <laughs> but you have. I mean, the Barry Harris one. The uh, oh, go on. Some great voicings ones. Oh, please go on. Uh, we have some fun stuff over there. So I think it's a good resource. And um, uh, we've got some stuff like for beginners, very beginner um, piano. So, chords. Some clickbait stuff is what you're saying. Got a little saying. bit of clickbait. Got a little clickbait. So yeah. <laughs> So uh, that's so it, actually, because the last one is our ultimate. Number seven, we're going to save for our for the very end of the show, the ultimate tip. Yeah. I'm liking the ultimate tips, the ultimate man. Tip, I was man. very skeptical at first. I'm like, why are we adding one more layer of complexity to this? But now I get it. <laughs> the, the the funny thing is that people that are really like time optimizers, uh-huh. they just they just go, they don't listen to all this. They're like, we don't need all the filler. Take me to the one thing I need to Oh, learn. yeah, no, on YouTube, they're already doing timestamps on all this. <laughs> are they really? Yeah, of course. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, today's episode was sponsored by the Oxford American. Go to Oxford americanorg slash YHI for some great deals. How much time we got, Andrew? We don't have a lot of time. But uh, also go to... Oh, five minutes. <laughs> go to... You'll hear it. Oh, but we got extra time. Well, why'd you say that on the mic, man? Now we got to fill that time. <laughs> oh, banter. Anyway, Witty banter. Did you read that uh, did you read that last article? Well, I do want to talk about playing changes again real quick okay. because I'm, I want to read that book. Remember, you were supposed to lend it to me. So could you could you move it along? I'm, I'm almost finished. I just got through with like the Solquarians chapter uh <laughs> oh nice yeah no it's awesome yeah okay well i'm yeah. looking forward to it yeah okay so we ready for the oh we're just gonna say please give us a rating or review our egos are a little bit diminished because uh well no i was gonna say we haven't been getting we have been getting some yeah, and they've been good <laughs> it's 5.0 baby so we were 4.99 for a while on itunes but we got enough reviews thank you guys uh, that we got pushed back up to an average of 5.0. Man, he likes talking about reviews, doesn't he? I do, man. I'm. We, we that's the problem. We, like we talked about before, we don't have enough jazz reviewers anymore. So, all of you can be jazz reviewers. Seven stars. <laughs> also, go to you'll hear it. Com to leave us a speak pipe. We're trying to get five good speak pipes for next week, so we can do all speak pipe week. Ooh. That's really just laziness on our part. <laughs> we could we could stretch them out. We'll see. Yeah. Um. Okay. Now we're gonna give you our ultimate tip for a resource in the jazz world. And that would be? Two-minute jazz. Oh, that's just... <laughs> Come on, Come man. On. Well, for folks that are time-starved, we're proud of our little product here. This is going back, I want to say, like eight, seven, eight years. Yeah. And uh, we'll do an episode time, sometimes, the genesis of, of, of two-minute jazz. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. You think we'll have time? Yeah, we could do the whole genesis of Open Studio tomorrow. That'll okay. Be fine. Right. Yeah, we'll tell you how it started. But basically, these are all videos that uh, used to just be me doing them. Then I pulled in Adam and some other people you might know, like Christian McBride. Ever heard of him? I ever heard of him. Uh, Warren Wolf, Sean Jones. And they're approximately two minutes. Sometimes they're three minutes, occasionally even four minutes. But they're just one little nugget of information. Yeah. One thing for you to practice on. We don't go overboard with like, okay, now do it again or whatever. One idea, one concept. You can kind of pick and choose and hopefully... Um, a lot of folks said they've been helpful, so that's something you can go to YouTube. They're free; they're all free. And uh, until important. tomorrow, yeah. Uh, well, until tomorrow, you'll hear it. But we do have a listener <laughs> tune on the way out. This oh, is called yeah. "A Little Ditty" a little by Ditty. by David Cousins. If you have a tune you want to hear on the end of a podcast, uh, just send that uh, MP3 to Andrew at OpenStudioNetwork.com. That's Andrew at OpenStudioNetwork.com, and our yes. lovely producer Andrew will put it at the end of the podcast. Again, this is "Little Ditty" from David Cousins. And until tomorrow. You'll hear it.